Wolfman 2025 has just released a new trailer and it rocks. Yes. <laughs> this is exactly what I was looking for in terms of a new trailer. It's a stylistic update. It simplistically shows you the viewpoint of a man making this transformation without dialogue. In fact, the lack of dialogue is a plot point, it seems like. I'm so interested. This is exactly what I knew would happen. I didn't know how he'd adapt it, but I knew Lee Winnell has that special magic when it comes to these types of movies. Invisible Man was such a new flavor while keeping what that monster really was. This is the same idea where it's a werewolf. It's a classic werewolf story, but he's giving it something that you haven't really seen depicted this way before. I am... God, I'm so... This is why I was so hyped. I'm so excited for this stupid movie, man. It's a great trailer. It is so weird being excited for a January horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's crazy we got another trailer this soon. Mm-hmm. It is. I mean, well, it's horror. It's only a few months away. You know, if it's like a blockbuster, it's going to be a six-month trailer. So yeah. this is about half that. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. But, I but mean, yeah. it's such a contrast to the last Wolfman movie where... It was years like they were they were like drip feeding stuff from that movie for like that movie took like four years to get made and come out and they just kept drip feeding stuff. They kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And I'm like, this one, it's like you're getting everything. It's following the Blumhouse formula, at least they're good movies where they have a conventional setup, but they're giving it a little bit of a new twist, a little bit of something you haven't seen before and just just giving it that little push to make it a unique, worthwhile remake of something else you've you could traditionally seen but not in this way mm -hmm. it's really fun mm -hmm. i'm so into it <laughs> yeah i uh, uh, i will say yeah. you do get you do get a glimpse of the wolfman design mm -hmm. i'm still not into it but overall i think the movie looks good and i can take a really good movie and just kind of like let the the weak design just kind of wash over me i still have some hope there'll be a good one at the end but we'll see <laughs> me too I will say I am pretty, like, whatever their problems are with the design that everyone and myself is having, they're compensating with the roar is a new, fresh roar. It's uh, the way it shows up, the, the Sounds speed. Sounds creepy as fuck. Like, you have to, when you adapt the Wolfman and make it into a movie, you have to make it scary somehow because just a dude who has, like, really big sideburns is not that intimidating the speed at which this wolfman moves and the strength which it's implied to have i'm sorry but i'm running and i'm probably not gonna win i'm probably die i'm probably dead if i run away so this this is a scary scary freaking beast this is this is a cool interesting way to adapt it and i'm i'm big into it so yeah 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 and the and the other thing i um i pick i picked up on was you get to see some of that camera work, kind of like the Invisible Man, like the way mm -hmm. it keeps cutting to the um, the condensation covered windshield mm -hmm. to build tension. That was cool. There's that one shot where it's normal him, someone's talking to him, and it swivels around him, and it goes into like isolated him, dark background, and that's like the werewolf disease kind of jumbling what English means down to like nothing. You can't understand the people around you. Yes, that's so cool. That's so interesting. Your intelligence level is dropping. I can't think of anything scarier than just realizing that I'm losing myself, like akin to like dementia mm -hmm. or something like that. That's so scary to me, you know? So, wow. Oh, wow. That's, that's haunting. I'm so excited for this movie.